It's time for Feel Good Friday. And as ever, I have an email to read out. Uh, The email came in from Liz. Anne-Marie and Sean Burns' beautiful red-haired little girl Emily was diagnosed at three months old in September 2017 with a rare liver disease called biliary atresia. Anne-Marie and Sean are the nicest couple you could meet. Decent, hard-working country people. Both John, my husband, and I have been friends with them for years and we grew up together. The next 17 months were mostly spent in hospitals in Cork, Dublin and London while their little boy Cormac waited at home for them. We went out, we found out a bit more. Let's take a listen. Like after the first procedure, um, things didn't go great for Emily and she had to be taken back down for an emergency um, surgery. And I don't know how you could do it. because She had to hand her little baby girl over to Sean who was so brave to be able to bring her down to the surgeons and place her in the surgeon's trust. And they, they were asked to say their goodbyes to Emily that day because the surgeons didn't know what was going on in her little body at the time. Speaking about their darkest days. Sean and Anne-Marie are from Knockanor in County Waterford and they got married in 2014. In February 2016, they welcomed Cormac into the world and in June 2017, baby Emily arrived. But something was wrong. She said, um, Katrina, things aren't great. We're going to be moved to Crumlin later on this evening. And Sean just held her hand and said, just say, say a few prayers for us because... Um, they're not really sure what's the matter with Emily, but hopefully it's not as bad as they think it is. At just 14 weeks, Emily was diagnosed with biliary artresia, a rare disease of the liver. During the first year of her life, Emily went through many corrective surgeries, but ultimately she required a transplant. Having watched the family go through the most heartbreaking year, their friend John came forward and said that he would like to be a donor for Emily. When he was asked why he was doing it, he simply said, because I can. Like They did everything to try and not use a live donor mm, yeah. and that everything just never came into fruition. Like It had to be John. John was the, the, only, the only hope. But the transplant did work and 20% of John Fenton's liver was successfully transplanted to Emily. Sean and Amory's prayers were finally answered and their family and friends were in awe of the strength they showed at every step of the journey. No matter what you throw at them and life is like giving them loads of changes and challenges, they, I don't think they've changed at all one bit. Um, they're, they're such a strong family unit with lots of family support and friendships um, which I think has really stood to them and carried them through their toughest times. In June Emily celebrated her second birthday and her personality and zest for life shines through. I think Emily is the boss of the house now I think she's the boss of everyone Um, just when you say the word Emily I can just picture her her magic smile um, that little glint in her eye and her lovely red hair Um, she She's amazing, like she, she should teach us all something. I mean, what she's been through in her short life and she, she's just the happiest little toddler. She's running around, she's bossing everyone, she's having the crack, she's loving life. And I mean, I think we should all take something from that. Not all heroes wear capes, but John Fenton is undoubtedly a hero. It's absolutely amazing to know that there are people like this in the world and who are so selfless and so willing to just give life and hope to another family. Someday, when she's old enough, Sean and Anne-Marie will sit Emily down and tell her that a man named John saved her life. Whew, it's a phenomenal story. Incredible. Let's cross to West Waterford where the Feel Good Friday fairy Shona is standing by. Shona! Good morning, my dear. I am here. I'm in Knockinore in County Waterford on a crisp, cold Friday morning. And I'm just walking slowly <laughs> up a driveway. <laughs> okay, I hope they've been listening. I think they have. And I'm not sure whether I'm supposed to go in the front door or the back door. But I can see movement. It's a blue door. I'm coming up lovely flowers at the front and I think I think this might be Anne-Marie at the door I don't even need to knock oh she's getting the key I need to not use the front door she's okay. getting the key okay Grant. good morning my dear how are you it's okay let the dog in let the dog in come here to me oh there's tears hello how are you I'm Shona from Beast I'm the Feel Good Friday Fairy 
nice to meet you. How are you? And, and you're being filmed in the middle of all this. Are you okay? Come over to me for a second. She's worried about the dog. Come over to me. How are you feeling? <laughs> they might think I hit the prices. <laughs> oh, yeah. They got you good, didn't they? What was it like to hear that? Very moving. Bring back a lot of memories that we will never forget. But as you can see, she's happy and... Oh, there she is! Oh, hello, beautiful girl. Come here. The, the, I know. Hello, Cormac. He's a little trooper as well. Look, the reason that they, Liz, wrote that letter is because you have been incredible over the last couple of years and they've watched in awe of what you've been through. But also, as we know, this is a story of friendship and organ donation and what John Fenton, who's hiding in the corner because I believe he's quite um, a shy guy. Um, yeah, John, come over to me for a second because what was it like for you to hear those words? Uh, very special. Uh, people are still thinking about it and know what everything that was done we have a lot of recipients it's the first time we've multiple recipients of Feel Good Friday because it's for both yeah. the Burns and the Fentons yeah. and so we thought in terms of you know what could we do this weekend it's something that they can do together so later today we are cork bound for the weekend we're off to initially photo wildlife park with the kids to see um, the Sumatran tigers and the lions and the gibbons and the giraffes and the rhinos <laughs> <laughs> Lunch will be had there. Then it's on to your home for the weekend and uh, all of you guys, the two families, are going to be staying in Foda Island Resort in one of their luxury fuchsia lodges oh. for the weekend. With a quick bite to eat at the resort before they head to Photo Island Resort's spectacular Christmas experience, Photo Wonder, where they can expect plenty of festive magic, snowy surprises and yuletide cheer. And they'll be staying at Photo Wildlife Resort for the weekend and we hope Emily and all the crew have the best time. This week's Feel Good Friday was all about the Burns and the Fentons. After an incredibly tough year, it was about a day of fun, laughter and making memories together. We shone a spotlight on the most remarkable friendship, on a bond that can never be broken, and we opened our eyes to the vital importance of organ donation. The story of a man named John who saved the life of a little girl called Emily has captured the hearts of the Southeast and it's not hard to see why. Mind-blowing, exhausting in a very good way. <laughs> um, just a total utter experience. Thank you so much, Pete. Uh, you've absolutely blown us all away with everything you've done for us today and for the weekend. 